hours of Tony Fanning with the music TV. Welcome again on another program entitled Political Death, whereby we talk nothing but politics. And the politics of Mtuarazi, Africa, as well as the entire continent. Before we start the program of today, please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you to the subscribers. We are indebted uh, to your subscription. Thank you very much for continually supporting us. As I always indicate before, that when you are subscribing, you are putting yourself in a position to be the first one to watch our next program. Uh, thank you very much. Today we want to talk about something which is happening, something very silly that is happening. Uh, firstly, before I say anything, I want to, 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 to put it forward that uh, in Zimbabwe everything has been politicized. Uh, that includes sports, uh, arts, everything has been politicized to promote only one culture and to promote only one ethnic group and uh, to promote only one language, which is Shona language. Other language are disregarded. And if you don't speak Shona language, you are disregarded. Uh, that is the fact. You can run away from it. There is nothing uh, that... Uh, can actually hide this. This is public knowledge now that the current regime of Zimbabwe, the current regime of Zanu PF, is after promoting only Shona supremacy at the expense of other languages and the other people or ethnic groups in Zimbabwe that speaks other language outside Shona are the most suffering groups in Zimbabwe. You can see it from the previous NAMA Awards. NAMA Awards, these are not just a holistic a awards, no. These are politicized awards, and these awards seek to promote a political agenda. Nothing else but a political agenda, which uh, if for those uh, we haven't read the 1979 Grand Plan. Very soon I will be exposing the 1979 Grand Plan. On our new, brand new program, it will be screened live, it will be done live. So keep on checking this channel and it will be entitled the Mpagas Archives, whereby we depict everything uh, about Mpagas, what has been done by the Zimbabwe regime to the people of Mpagas leading to the political crisis that is currently faced by the people of Mpagazi. As we speak now, uh, the time to remain silent and to be afraid is over. So, the national, this the NAMA Awards, I don't even know what does that abbreviation stands for, but they actually award the uh, artists in Zimbabwe. If you look at uh, about 80 if not 90 percent of the artists that have been awarded they come from Mashona land and uh, we have got uh, provinces of Mtuagas like Midlands, Matapelela North, Matapelela South and Bulawayo there are very very few uh, artists that are awarded uh, they are very very few you cannot even count them to be more than 10 or so uh, if the number is less and if you look at the artists who are given the platform to perform there, it is the artists of Ma Shonaland. And uh, if the artists from Matapeleland, they are not given a, a chance to, to, to perform. So these NAMA awards, they are not there to promote arts in Matapeleland. Matapeleland, you are alone unless you rise up to the occasion and form a, 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 a national uh, as award that will promote the music and the, the artists of Matapeleland. Uh, this goes without saying, the artists of Matapeleland, uh, their music is not played on radio stations around Zimbabwe. The artists of Matapeleland, their music, so if it's not played, it means it's not promoted. And uh, the only option that the artists of Matapeleland have is to sell their music through online digital platforms. And uh, this tends to be so technical and uh, very, very expensive, but it is the only available option. And uh, if you look what they have recently done, especially these promoters from Machonaland, 
Uh, there is an artist from Matapelelen called Love or Mataeva, and is one of the renowned artists. Uh, I mean, who has been played in each and every household of Matapelelen. His music was not given a play. Uh, he was ill treated until he migrated. Now he is, he is, I think, he is living overseas. And uh, what they have done to his music, they are putting it uh, on digital stores online. The, the people, I don't know, it must be the promoters from Mashonaland. And instead of properly uh, giving proper titles, which are which are in Debele, they are putting those titles in Shona language. This is how uh, dirty everything about Zimbabwe has become. So uh, I want to make it clear that even if you are from Matebele and receiving uh, any awards from Matebele, don't think it's meant to promote you. Uh, it, it will tarnish your name. And for artists of Matebele and it's high time we become innovative and not rely on the radio stations, the television stations of Zimbabwe. Let's find an alternative way of uh, actually exposing our talents. And uh, there are a lot of uh, people with pure few God-given great talents in Matabela land and uh, one day God will listen to our prayers and we will be at another level. Thank you very much for listening once again to our program. This is political desk and we say things as they are. Please don't forget to subscribe and also to give us a feedback to, through comment section. We allow any nature of comments. Uh, I am signing off. Have a nice day.